This episode is powered by WCDTimes.com Top 5 Military Bases of India Around the World Searchless in Assumption Island On July 2018, India and Searchless agreed on a defense agreement for a joint project in Assumption Island of Searchless. By agreeing, India gave $100 million of line of credit and donor aircraft to Searchless. The Indian Ocean region is getting crowded day by day with the Chinese and the other nations' surveillance. India stepped up and signed a pact with Searchless for an Indian naval base in the island. Singapore As the Chinese presence near Singapore has increased significantly, Singapore and India's relationship has reached its highest standard. A new agreement has been signed on November 2017. In this agreement, Indian Navy can dock, refuel, rearm its naval ships or submarines whenever it needed. There is no need for requests like before to dock a ship in Singapore's Sangi Naval Base. Indonesia India and Indonesia made a deal to jointly develop a new seaport at Sabang, which is located in Malacca Strait. In 2018, June, China Global News won India on military base in the South China Sea areas. But India and Indonesia neglected China's warning and started the work by joint seaport in the strategically important sea route. India and Indonesia says it's just a tourist attraction, a joint work of the two countries. But different alliances and deep government heads says it's definitely a military base for India to counter China's presence in the South China Sea and most of its Malacca Strait, as Indian Navy can dock at any time and use it whenever they wanted. Oman Indian Navy has and have the authority to dock, refuel, rearm any time they wanted in the Oman, which is near to the Horn of Africa. While in 2017 to 2018, China registered its official military base in Djibouti in Africa near the Red Sea where international commerce and trade happens through Africa. India has uh, concerns on China's new military base in Djibouti, so India now had uh, signed a pact with Oman for access of Indian navies whenever it needed in Dwakam port of Oman. India is countering China in Indian Ocean and in China's backyard in the South China Sea and to stop China from surveilling India and Indian versions of its Chinese navies. Tajikistan President Ramnath Govind of India visited Tajikistan in 2018 to the Indian Air Force contingent in Aini, Tajikistan. He showed interest in India's Air Force base in Aini, Tajikistan to renew itself. As is, this is the only Air Force base beyond India, it is a strategic uphand on Pakistan and to Afghanistan in any ways it needed. As China's share in Pakistan is growing, India wants to keep the Pakistan in check for its uses. India has not only has these top 5 bases around the world, now India can have and have access to more than 800 US military bases across the globe as a new treaty between India and US made this possible. Also, India has access to all Russian military bases across Russia and around Russia. So what do you think of India countering China in all the way it necessary and is possible for India to counter it, as India is the only country to have access to most of the world's military bases across the globe? This episode is powered by WCDTimes.com. Get all your global news here. India has taken control over the strategic Chabahar port in Sistan Balochistan province of energy rich Iran's southern coast, the Indian government said on Monday. This can be used as India's naval force military base on wartime or for logistic supports. 
This is the first time India will be operating an port outside its territory. As the US has sanctioned on Iran, India has made a stubborn stand that it won't back up. So US has backed up and India has been trading with Iran since then. The government of India took over the operation of the part of Shahid Bagheshiti for the Chabahar. In Iran, during the Chabahar Trilateral Agreement meeting held down on December 24, 2018, the Shipping Ministry of India said in a statement. The heads of Indian, Iranian and Afghanistan delegation jointly inaugurated the office of the Indian SPV, India's Port Global Chabahar Free Zone or the IPZCFC at Chabahar. The physical takeover of a terminal area, the cargo handling equipment and office building was completed by December 29, 2018. The commercial operation began at IPGCFC with the arrival of a vessel. It said that adding a Cypress registered bulk carrier had arrived at the Chabahar with 72,458 megaton of corn cargo. The vessel MV Macheras burst at the terminal at 1.30 hours on December 30, 2018. An IPGCFC carried out its first cargo operation by discharging the imported cargo or the ex Brazil using a pneumatic underloader. It also added that this is the step marks the beginning of a long journey. India has written a history with its engagement in Chabahar and is now leading the regional cooperation and joint efforts to support the landlocked Afghanistan. This is the first time India will be operating a port outside its territories, Indian delegation said in a statement. India started interacting with Iran and Chabahar port around 2003, but a major push was received in second half of 2014, resulting in signing an MOU between the two countries for the development of Chabahar port in May 2015. This MOE translated into a formal 10-year contract for the equipment and operating the Chabuga port, which was executed on May 23, 2016 during the Prime Minister visit of India to Tehran. Since there was a challenge in activation of the said contract, the foundation of an interim period contract was laid during the visit of Hassan Rouhani, the President of Islamic Republic of Iran, to New Delhi in February 2018. Reluctantly, a formal short-term contract between the two sides was signed on May 6, 2018. Chabur port in Baluchistan province in energy-rich nations, southern coast is easily accessible from India's western coast and is increasingly seen as a counter to Pakistan's border port, located at the distance of around just 80 kilometers from Chabahar. The first phase of the Chabahar port was inaugurated in December 2017 by Iranian President Hassan Rouhani, opening a new strategic route connecting Iran, India and Afghanistan, bypassing Pakistan ports. The Chabahar port is being considered as a gateway to the golden opportunities for trade by India, Iran and Afghanistan with the Central Asian countries. Besides ramping up the trade among the three countries in the wake of Pakistan, denying transit across an access to New Delhi. Under the agreement signed by between India and Iran earlier, India is to equip and operate two birds in Chabur Port Phase 1 with capital investment of USD $85.2 million and annual revenue expenditure of $22.9 million on a 10-year lease. So what do you think of India taking control of the Chabur Port from Iran and it may be used for India's military and naval logistics supplies during the wartime or if it needed whenever it needed. Please give a thumbs up and follow us on social networks and subscribe to our channel. And thanks for watching. This is WZ Daily. Think big, think different. Bye.